Looks dry to me. So this is gonna be a good opportunity to have a proper look at this Urban 80 board. It is a dual motor board. I had a little bit of a go of this inside already. And it was fun. Now it's time to take it outside. This is actually a pre-production board, so it will be slightly different. I think the most notable difference on the production ones is the plastic here will be a bit more flexible. This is a kind of pre-production plastic. Ooh, it's not that heavy, considering it's got 15 miles of range and dual motors. Here we've got the controller. Ah, a little present for me. I do like gummies. So there you go, I guess this isn't really an unpaid video. I guess now it's a paid one. I like this, this is a good little addition. Nice little carry bag for your tools and cable. Ooh, somewhere to put the old instruction manual. This is the remote. I love the feel of this remote control. It's got a really nice sort of feel in the hand. Good weight, nice and sturdy. Right. Let's go. One thing though, might be dry, but it is cold, so I'm going to want a coat. Ouch. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is much easier to carry. It's a much easier length. I can actually have my arm straight. Admittedly, if you're short, we would still be too long, but... This thing could go so fast if I wanted it to, and if I wasn't like, no. It's too cold. I thought this was a good idea, but problem is when it was warmer, it was wetter. <laughs> oh well, that's England in winter time. Maybe I'll get another go in the summer when I can really appreciate what is quite clearly a very awesome machine. chilly for electric uh, skateboarding today, I think. But the real problem is I need fingerless gloves or something, because obviously I still need to be able to feel the remote in my hand. Not to mention, on the uh, remote, let me get a bit closer, we've got a battery gauge, and a remote gauge, and a signal, and the miles per hour. And there's probably a lot more features that this can do as well because I haven't had a look. Oh, speed mode. Brake mode. Oh, the brake was quite good, by the way. I went down a quite steep hill on the way back and it was nice and smooth. Fantastic. So I like that. I hate it when you have a brake and you're a bit, you don't trust it. That's not good. Especially when you find that out halfway down a hill. Ready to pair. Calibration. Ooh, wheel size, oh, so you can select your wheel size. Presumably that's the 110, that's the rough stuff wheels, and the 83 are the slick wheels that you can get with it. You can get this board for 899.99 with the slick wheels, or 949.99 if you want the rough stuff wheels, or 969.99 if you want both sets of wheels. Personally, if it was me, given that this is quite a short board anyway, I would go for the rough stuff 110 wheels because that way you're less likely to be caught out by a stone that you didn't see coming. Particularly like the design of this deck, you've got the flex and a good amount of range and it's quite nice and compact for an e-board and that I'm very keen on because if it takes up a load of room then you just can't take it with you because it won't fit in the car. I mean, have you seen the car I'm driving at the moment? E. This will actually fit in the back of it though, which is good. I'd love to give that a go, but I don't have the time. I've got to pick Jasper up in a minute, and uh, then it's going to rain and be really, really cold forever. 
Really, I don't know who would choose to live in the UK, especially at the moment. Wow, we've got such a mess going on with politics. It's hard to think about anything else. Righty, I think I just heard my phone going off in the background. I would imagine that's so. Ready to discuss dinner plans, hopefully. There was something else I wanted to mention. There's always something else I want to mention. I like these green bits, little plastic green bumpers at the end. That's a very nifty little design feature. I don't know about the other new boards they've got. Hopefully they come with these plastic bumpers as well, because that is a good move. Mm -hmm. Need to go get Jasper from school now. And then we're taking my wife's car back. Oh, look how easily this fits. Loads of room. As you might be able to see, the, the light is kind of fading. Whilst well, Jasper's asleep. I can't resist a short sort of run up and down the car park here on this board. Because, you know, tell you what, it was made a nice change driving this Merc from the Smart. Oh, I was not a big fan of the Smart. Mm -mm. Now, you come. And I'm going to need the remote control. The board on. I do find these Slick Revolution boards sync up nice and quickly. how long it'll take for security to turn up and tell me you can't do that here but I can because I asked the boss sort of Whoa, it's a bit bumpy this tarmac but luckily I've got rough stuff wheels and a slightly flexible board so it's not too bad still quite comfortable I'll tell you what there's plenty of power on these boards Make a good little birthday present for me. Hey, Soph, is he still asleep? Yes. Awesome. Not had a chance to test the range, of course, but 12 to 15 miles would be perfectly reasonable and doable. And more to the point, look how diddy the thing is. Beautiful, tiny little thing. Really fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Would quite like one, actually. So, yeah. If you want to know anything more about the Urban 80 from Slick Revolution, you can go to their website. The link will be in the description. It's a great little company. I've been following them for years now, watching them grow and the products they sell improve. Yeah, good job, guys. We're going to go off and have some fast food now, I think. That seems like it's going to be the plan. Okay, we're home. We had a yummy meal out, didn't we, Jazzy? No, we didn't. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Jasper? Yeah. Uh, you got a Pikachu? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I bet everyone can guess where we went now. See, we like to eat out in style. <laughs> well, I've thoroughly enjoyed my little test of the Slick Revolution board. I'm sad to see it go. But it's not mine, it was just a loner. Now we're home, I'm going to say goodbye for the day. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't already. If you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe, for the next episode of my vlog. Bye. And I will see you, hopefully, tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Although honestly, I've got to tell you, it's not likely to be tomorrow and the vlog is only kind of semi-daily at the moment, but we're getting there. Bye.